This is the book of Revelations, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High, Yahweh, have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen. And am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord, power, who judges her. Verse 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour, is thy judgment come? I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kadash. I want to give another double honors to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. This is the brother Malachi. And I want to get into, uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump into some prophecies today. And uh, Salakia, I want to jump into some prophecies today. And we're going to go into the destruction of the city of Babylon, that great city. All right. That uh, uh, that mighty city, as, as I just read. All right. Because we can see the things that are going on in this earth right now. Things, uh, a whole uh, different prophecies kicking off left and right. You see one every week. Because before 2019, last year, it started to happen, you know, every month it will be something. But then as, as, as the uh, year got closer to the end, uh, getting ready to uh, get into uh, 2020, as, as this is the year of prophecy, we're starting to see things kick off every week now. And then sooner or later, we're going to be seeing them every other day. And then it's going to be just every day. All right. They're going to kick off so fast. It's going to be like a domino effect. Okay. And we still have major prophecies that happen, such as the RFID chip. You know, the, uh, 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 um, you know that once that is pushed, we know that we're getting closer, super close to the end. That's the biggest major prophecy that has to come uh, next. Okay, because World War Three is not going to happen. We're not going to see the missiles get shut off. We got, we're not going to see none of this yet until that prophecy has to be fulfilled. You can read that in the book of Revelation, chapter, uh, Salaki, uh, chapter 13. Okay, so here it is, uh, the destruction of, of Babylon the city. It's uh, Babylon the Great, Salakia, this city. It's going to be judged, all right? Why? Because the sins have reached unto the heavens. And Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he sees it. He sees it. All right? And this place has to be destroyed. All the corruption, all the filthiness. There's no truth in the land. All the blood that's in this land. It's just, it's time. And the sins have reached up into the heavens now. And you see the Most High, the Heavenly Father, he's making things happen. You can see the mo uh, the chariot sightings. We can see and just right just recently in Puerto Rico, 
I believe I believe it was between 900 to 1,000 earthquakes over there. Just back to back to back to back. Those people over there, they have no 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 uh, uh no power on one side of the island. All right, this is not the first time that island got hit. You understand? The Most High showing His presence in the earth. All right. So, with that being said, I don't want to uh, go off uh, topic too much, but this is going to be uh, Babylon the Great, this city that everyone praises so much, it will be brought down, all right, according to prophecy, according to the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai. okay? So here it is right here. I have a, a little depiction, all right, a little simulation, but it's, 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 it's kind of it's supposed to be a representation of when um, uh, America, when it gets uh, 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 get hit with the uh, nuclear bombs. But I could not find the video to, to kind of get that grasp. But I found one with an asteroid. But it's going to show the, the, the uh, destruction of, as if it was a missile. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play it. I want to get the. I guess I want to get the minds to see the impact of what it could be like. All right? This is just an, uh, an actual asteroid. But think about missiles just flying left and right, destroying the land. And this is what's going to show. All right? Salakia. So let's go ahead and jump into it right now. It's going to play. I'm going to play like maybe. Let's see. It goes to like. Two minutes and I stop it around there. So around two minutes, another uh, like really a minute, okay? So pay attention. So you can get the depiction of what it's going to be like, okay? I just had to show that small little clip, okay? And that's just showing the impact of what, uh, 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 how it's going to be like. How you're going to see basically like a lake of fire, how the, uh, 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 the impact is just going to burn everything down, okay? And I'm see if I can pull up another one with, uh, was it Sarah? Here it is. Is there a problem here? You're in a no parking zone. Oh, I didn't know. You didn't see the sign? That wasn't there earlier. 
Really? In Italy, they let you park anywhere. Have a good day, sir. Geico sequels. The savings keep on going. It's lucky for the commercial. Guess what? It's not going to be a dream. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into some scriptures. So the name of this, 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 uh, this video, I'm going to name it. It's basically if, if the Lord shows you no mercy, there is no escaping this. You will die. Okay. Because once these arrows are shut off into the air, when these missiles are bathed in the heavens and they're making their way over here, there is no running from it. Okay? That's the destruction. That's the judgment that is coming that's going to destroy this place in one hour. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. It reads, See now that I... Even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So what the scriptures is going into is, is, is saying that this is Yahweh. This, this is Yahweh, Salakia. He is saying that he kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. There's no one beside him that's can, that can stop him. All right? He's the supreme ultimate judge. He's going to judge this world and he's going to judge Babylon the Great. All right? As you see in, in the depiction of the videos, this is what's coming to America the Great. And it's coming to all those who do not want to, uh, 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 especially to the Salakia, to the Israelites, the, the wicked two-thirds of our people, the ones who don't want to listen. That's the judgment that's coming to them. Not only them, you have Esau and all the other nations as well that are living here amongst this land. They have to get, uh, uh, what's the word, Salakia, uh, recompense for it, okay? So let's go to verse 40. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh and that with blood of the slain and of the captives, from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. So the Most High is saying that he has enemies, all right? And he's going to recompense them with revenge through the waves of his arrows, which is through these ICBM missiles and your modern, uh, your modern day bombs, your nuclear weapons, okay? 
So let's go ahead and jump into the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 12. Yeah, start at 12. It reads, The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. So what that is talking about is the earth is, is, is shaking now because of the after effect of these bombs when they drop. The seas are waving, I mean, are roaring. You see the waves, they're, they're, they're all out of course. This is, this is what's going to be taking place once these ICBM missiles come flying from the other end of the earth into this atmosphere, into this place called Babylon, all right? Called America, okay? Verse 13. For strong is the... Salakia. Let's read that again. Verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. Once those coordinates are put into the uh, GPS for the ICBM missiles to come over here, guess what? They will not miss. They cannot be intercepted by any other weapon. These things are furbished. These things are making uh, are in the making right now for the slaughter. All right? It reads on. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. As the scriptures say, they're going to be shot from the ends of the world. And guess what? They're going to reach and touch down on Babylon the Great. Verse 14. Behold, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? So this is a question Ezra, he's, he's, he's asking, he's saying, oh, destruction to me, destruction, woe is me, woe is me. Who's going to deliver me in those days? He's seeing what you guys just seen in a video, how uh, 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 Sarah Connor, how she's getting on the fist and she's being burned up alive. Her spirit still inside the body while the heat and all the debris, everything is just, it's just, tear, it's just tearing her apart piece by piece, element to element, back to the dust. But her spirit still in there and she feels everything. This is what Ezra is seeing. All right? He's seeing the destruction of this place, how it's being annihilated. Nothing but just dust, smoke, heat. He sees this. He sees the destruction. This is something from he's seen uh, 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 from back in, 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 in times of old. He's looking at something so modernized as, we, as what we it's like as what we would see today. So his mind is, is like, wow, what did I just see? He couldn't understand it, but he sees that it was just destruction. He's just saying, uh, he's so like he's just seeing that in, in, in the future view, uh, a future vision, he's saying, Woe is me, woe is me. Who can deliver me from these things? He doesn't know what it is, he just knows it's nothing but destruction. All right, and it's coming towards Babylon the Great. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Because the things that he's seen, it was the missiles. It was the ICBM missiles touching down, okay? So this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and which... So like you, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt 
up. As you've seen in the movie, the little small clip that I showed you, everything got burned up. Everything that was taken, it was it was uh, uh, broken down to the smallest elements until it became dust and just heat. Until the wind just pushed it out the way. Okay? This is the day of the Lord. It's going to come as a thief in the night to all those people. You've seen them. They had the kids on the playground. they having lunch. they having fun. As the scripture says, in the days of Noah, they were given into marriage. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, marrying, all that, having fun, guess what? It came and it took them away like a flood, okay? And it's going to be the same thing this time. While everybody's out doing whatever they're going to be doing in that day, we don't know when the, day's Lord is, uh, the day of the Lord is going to come, but we know that it's, it's quickly approaching and it's very soon, Okay? Everything is going to melt. It's going to be hot as an oven. All right? So, let's go ahead and jump into the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 12. And it reads, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. This is all the nations. All the nations. Edom. Moab, Ammon, Elam, Ishmael, all, every nation underneath this, uh, underneath the heavens. Even two-thirds of his own people, they're going to catch this, man. They're going to catch these plagues that's about to come upon this earth, okay? It reads, their shell, Salakia, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What's the only thing that's going to be able to come to this? What's the only thing that's going to have you stand up and your flesh is going to consume away as you just see in the movie? The little small clip. You see her bones, her flesh, her eyes, everything was just taken away from off the heat, from off the blast. So you can't run from it. There's no way that you can go in that day. Once those missiles are shut off, that's it. If the Lord does not have mercy on you, if you're not a part of the elect, you're not making it out of here. It don't matter. You can move to another state. You can go to the islands. But guess what? The next scripture is going to reveal it. It ain't going to matter wherever you go in this earth. You will be caught up in it. Especially if you're close by uh, uh, in, the, in the islands, you, you're going to have earthquakes. Everything, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. It reads, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. That's the good depiction of the clip that I just showed you guys. Like, this is not a game to be playing around with. You understand? You got all these other Israelite groups out here. You got the, uh, 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 you got the Adam Abbots. You got the, uh, Zabak. You got, uh, uh, IUIC. They not warning the people of this. They not telling them. They doing it for, uh, filthy Lucas sake. They want to, they, they, they're prideful. They not telling the people what the mark of the beast is. They're not telling you the demon the, about the uh, so like the demonization that's about to come towards Israel. They're not letting the people know. All right, so people are gonna get caught up in this mess, and guess what? They're gonna get caught up in this because why? They decided they're gonna take the market. Uh, they're gonna take the RFID chip. They're not gonna know. They, they're gonna lose all faith when all this uh, stuff starts to happen with the demonization. I mean, it's going to be so many things. They're going to get caught up in this fire. They're not right. They want to go map. Uh, so like they want to go. Uh, uh, so like you. They want to go rap uh, rap songs. But they need to be teaching this truth. Getting this out to the four winds. Uh, really to the four winds. So like you, to the, the ends of the earth. The four winds of the earth. All right. So like if I said that right. But um, 
They need to be trying to wake up the elect. They're not, they just, I mean, the most high got them that way. You know, when you look at it deeper, the most high have them that way. And, and, and you know, that's just how you have to really look at it. But for a person who don't really have a true understanding, you can see that these are just the false Israelite groups out here. All right. And they're going to get caught up in all of this. All right. Because they're not going to have the faith. They're not going to know the prophecies. They're going to lose all faith. They're going to just lose patience. Okay. So this is Isaiah, not the ramble off, but this is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20. Because when these missiles are shot, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bring a devastation. The hypersonic uh, waves, the booms, the uh, uh, the wind, all that, it's gonna hit to the waves. The earth is gonna be in trouble at that point now. All right. Verse twenty: The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Meaning the things, you're going to see a lot of things, it's just going to, it's just going to tear this place down just from all the destruction of this place. So this place, this is uh, uh, Babylon the Great. It's going down. It, it doesn't, it, uh, it's, it's prophesied to go down. And you still see our people, they just love this place. But guess what? They're going to fall. Like the scripture says, they're going to fall with it. All right? All the islands are going to be washed up with the, with the every and everything. You're not going to be able to run from it. All right? Unless the Lord shows mercy upon you. You are of the... Uh, the hopeful elect, the ones that uh, the ones that the Most High have chosen, them aren't going to be the only ones that's going to make it out of here. This is why you should be trembling with fear, because it's not uh, uh, it's not a set that you will make it out of here. I don't even know if I'm going to make it out of here, but I'm trying my best, trying my best. But you see all the every like I said earlier with the other Israelite groups out here. They're not trying. They're not right in the head. They're not going to make it. Just by the little things that they do, they're prideful. The most, All the things that the Most High is against, they're not going to make it. They got a carnal mind. Nothing spiritual about them. They can't even see that it's the RFID chip. The, many, the different prophecies, they're not warning the people of the earthquakes. They're, just, they're lost. They're still blind. They think that they found the truth, but they're still blind. And guess what? Two-thirds of our people are going to get caught up in this mess. They're going to get caught off in it with the rest of the other nations, where they, the, the other nations need to be punished for, but as well as the two-thirds as well. Okay? So this is the book. I'm going to close it out. This is the book of 1 Peter 4, verse 17. For the time has come. That judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? They're going to get these missiles, man. They're going to they're gonna get a taste of these missiles, man. These ICBM missiles. All right? The Lake of Fire. You've seen the videos that I put up. That should give you a clear depiction of what's about to happen. Okay? Verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? We already know the answer. We already know the answer. They're going to be left here in Babylon the Great while you see the righteous, the ones whom the Most High have chosen. They're going to be beamed up into the chariots and they're going to be up, lifted up into the sky, looking at the destruction down. And the ones that's going to be in the chariots, they're going to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They're going to give all praises. Why? Because it wasn't of them that saved themselves. It was because of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So remember, let this be a, 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 a 
like I say, a, a learning lesson to to open up your eyes even more. Especially if you out there and you bullshit and you not you playing around with this word. This is between life and death. This is nothing to play around with. But you see people they want to play, but let them play, let them play. But wait, when everything gets serious, because these you gotta remember of the uh, uh, of the parable or uh, with the five. Uh, so like it with the five foolish virgins. All right. Them are the foolish virgins that's out there. That's not taking heed to what's going on. They're not looking at the prophecies. They're not looking at anything going on. But guess what? Those foolish virgins are going to come to you for the truth. But in that day, we're going to tell them not so. Lest there be not enough for you and me. All right. So don't let that be you. Don't get caught up out there. So if you take if you if, if you came across this video and you got to see some of it to even open up your mind to be like, man, this this destruction is coming. All right? Because you will die. It's either you're going to make it or you're not going to make it. There's not no such thing as if, as if the missiles are just going to come from the ends of the earth and they just they might come. No, they will come. The most I said it will not miss. Okay? So hopefully everyone was edified from off this video. Okay? Hopefully I can wake up some eyes. So the people that's out there, if you see this, and you bullshitting, wake up. The time is near. Alright? This place is only going to take one hour to be destroyed. Alright? So don't, as, as the scripture says in Sirach, uh, I believe it's 5 and 7. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes is 5 and 7. Terry... Uh, let's get that. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to mess that one up. Let's get this right quick before I close out. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, for suddenly, Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Woo! That fit right along with the lesson. All right. So don't put off from day to day. Don't be tearing around. All right. This is this is life and death. All right. So just keep the faith. Keep pushing. If you're a sincere brother, just keep pushing. Keep the faith. Keep going. Just know that the time is at hand. All right? This is the brother Malachi. Shalom.